Hello everyone, I'm Brian Croy Dragon and welcome back to the Single Biome Survival Challenge, uh, Night 12. Um, well, the f oh, sun's rising, so no reason to read. So what can I talk about? Um, well, I mentioned that modern day retelling graphic novel and adaptation of Anne of Green Gables, uh, Anne of Philadelphia. Well, I uh, ended up getting the first book in the series, which is a modern day retelling of Little Women. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't judging it too harshly because uh, of the Uh, because Anna of Philadelphia is well um, set in America. Changing Anne to an American is something which the original author herself disowned a film adaptation for. And as I'm reading it on the way home, I realize something frightening. I have absolutely no previous experience with the story, Metal Women. Tried watching some, um... Adaptations on Turner Classic Movies years ago, but you know how it is, um... You come on in... Uh, halfway through and you have no idea what's going on. Excuse me. So I had to consult uh, Wikipedia. And it hasn't done a bad job of modernizing. Uh, Mr. March is Instead, uh, in the Middle East, rather than the American Civil War, um, the Marsh family is blended. Um, so, Mr. March ha had a daughter, Mrs. March had a da daughter when they got, and when they got married, they had two more. Um, Mr. Marsh is black, Mrs. Marsh is white. It's really, really diverse and very beautiful, but unfortunately I have no previous, um, connection to the story, Little Women, so, um, I, I, I don't know. If it had been something like Oliver Twist or The Hunchback of Notre Dame or something else, You know, something I have some previous uh, connection with, something that I've read, but um, yeah, um, geez, have I even read The Secret Garden? Was that's the next one in the series I covered? Um, so a bit of a m movie of. Movie adaptation of that on Turner Classic Movies at one point. So I don't really have any, uh... Don't have... I... Uh, I don't know. Have I even read The Secret Garden? If I have, it's probably been so long that I don't remember. Francis Hodgson Burnett. 
I can take a quick look. I have not. So that would be two stories I have no previous. Uh, I barely have any pre. I don't know. Having seen a bit of a, some film adaptations of the women on Turner Classic Movies and a bit of a film adaptation of The Secret Garden on Turner Classic Movies, I say I only have the most minor of previous experience with a story. With, with both stories. time even is it? It's day 13 and I don't even know what the time is. Is it day? Is it night? Well, I'm pretty sure it's day. Unless, unless, um, um, uh, for, for, unless Midnight Sun is something that's been added to Minecraft. For biomes such as this. Good lord, midnight sun, can you imagine that? I don't know, it's um... It uh... Sounds vaguely terrifying. I mean, on the one hand, phantoms won't be coming at you. Unless there would be a variant of phantom that's immune to the sunlight. feeling too close to them uh, concerning what happened yesterday. Uh, it was a VTube tuber recording uh, from the Egyptian mythology pack. You've got to see it to believe it. Yeah, you've got to see it to believe it. Just a squid. I don't even know what happened. Where did the hostile mobs go? Did I find some miracle area? No, they they would be spawning. Right, and earlier, but what's happened exactly? Some sort of glitch in the system? Glitch in the matrix, so to speak? Glitch in the Minecraft tricks? No, 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 that doesn't sound right. <coughs> I don't 
no. I really don't know. Honestly, uh, this whole Anna Philadelphia thing, me getting the first book in this uh, anthology series now to retell classic stories in a modern setting, uh, it pretty much reminds me of how I got into Game of Thrones. Uh, Kenneth Branagh wasn't coming back to direct Lord of the Dark World. He's my favorite director. Uh, Alan Taylor, or whoever it was, uh, was a director for Game of Thrones, had to make sure the film was in good hands, and that's how I ended up getting into Game of Thrones. Ah. Night 13. Alex, you're fine. Move this back a bit, just in case he wants to jump on up. Um. Yeah, yeah, night thirteen.
Okay, so, um, formally finished this. You stay there. So much for beginning to read less, the sun's starting to rise. Yeah, even if slowly. Day 14. <clears throat> Day 14. Wonderful. Getting ever closer to that halfway point. Here I am. If I, here I am, wondering if we, if I, uh, should move this up to an hour to get more time covered. Strange, it's very strange. Where have the hostile mobs gone? We saw them earlier in these videos, so where are they now? What, did they go to a party and not invite anyone else? What do you think, Alex?
So now what? Now what indeed? I have no idea. Fine, Alex. You're fine. Yes. Night 12 to day 14. That's definitely where it's been today. Telling you the next, um, I'm probably going to be still doing this when the time the next update comes around. And when it does, who knows what's going to be waiting for me in the water. Good lord, what if we uh, get seagoing pillagers? I don't think there's enough room for a long boat. If they were, if there were to be seagoing pillagers, and they were to be traveling around in a long ship like Vikings, I don't think there would be enough room. Of course, that just begs the question of how big the long ship would even be. Start in the series, I thought there'd be a lot more uh, fighting hostile mobs, but I still don't know where they went. What did they? What happened? Is this one of the next great mysteries? What happened to Atlantis? What is Sasquatch? Where are the hostile mobs and the single biome survival challenge? Do you have an answer, Alex? No, of course you don't. You don't know any more than I do. Yes. Well, that would be all for today. I'm Brian Croydragon signing out. Stay straight.